have a look at the girth on this thing. <laughs> it's not that long of a fish. It's only 76, but it's fat as. back in the water hey guys so you gotta excuse my throat I've, I've got the flu not the covids I've had a test done it's not covid um, so <clears throat> just doing a bit of work on this boat and I thought I'd just quickly show you a couple of things so what they've done when they designed the boat this is one of the things that is it's a good boat great boat but um a few little things that are a bit of an issue is when you look down in here that i don't know if you can see that that in there that tank is sitting in a well it's not on a flat piece and <clears throat> what's happening is the water when it rains it it should have a cover on it, but just the way it went. I haven't been using the cover when I've been driving because of the, I don't know, I was still making that bar. And um, so when I was driving, it was raining and then I had to drive the boat out and then it pissed down for four days. So it's full of water and that's full of water and there's no drainage point. There's nothing for the water to drain out here. So, <laughs> So I've taken this plate off. Taking this plate off of here. And now I'm gonna try and drill a hole down through the bottom there to let the water drain out. But what I noticed when I was taking this plate out, come back over here. These are the screws that are in the plate holding the plate in, which is fine, there's nothing wrong with the screws. But they're stainless steel, and that's good as well. You want that on an, on an alley bait, you don't want mild steel, it'd be even worse. But, but what you do, what they haven't done and what you should do, if you're ever gonna screw anything into your boat with stainless steel, is you probably, I don't know if you can see it, You can see that there's just a little bit of white and you can't you can hardly see it in this video but there is some white like um powdery looking stuff on the screw and what that is is caused by electrolysis between the aluminium and the stainless steel because this because the stainless is the harder material the aluminium is corroding now those were quite hard to get out i had to hit the screwdriver with a hammer So yeah, as I was saying, because the screws are, the, the stainless is the, is the harder material, I think that's how it works, the aluminium is corroding. Um, it's not bad, there's no, I can strip, the threads are still there, but the, but the over time, especially if I take this in salt and it gets salt on it over time, it's just gonna get worse and worse and then there'll be nothing for this to bite into. So what you normally would do is if you go, especially if you're going directly to the aluminium with that, which that is, it's threaded into the aluminium, you use something like this, it's called Duralac, and it's an um, anti-electrolytic compound, anti-corrosive compound, so it'll stop the transfer of, ele I don't know if it's electricity, but electrolysis between the aluminium and the stainless steel if you can't get that you don't have to use that you can use i'll just put it on the friggin boat you can use um marine grade sikaflex or something like that but don't ever use silicon because it'll make it worse and silicon doesn't usually seal very well either so so yeah that that's your they're your options for that um so i'm gonna go through and put this back together and then I will 
then I'll come back to you and I'll do a, um, a rundown of the boat. Hello. in the process of doing that and Barry's just come over and check this out. The front bar has come back powder coated and it looks awesome. So it's gonna go. I'm gonna stop doing what I was doing there now and come up and do this. So it goes on here. Obviously it's not gonna I'm not going to sit up against the perspex like that, but yeah. Looks the goods. So, thank you very much to Barry at Le Mans, Barry and Robert. And uh, I'm going to put that on now and then go back to doing that other job. gap there and she's solid and it doesn't doesn't contact that first bex. <clears throat> that looks pretty good. You can see if you look at it from here <laughs> you'll see the oh bit much the starboard side leg is shorter than Sorry, the port side leg is shorter than the starboard side leg. And uh, I did that on purpose because you'll see where it is there, it doesn't protrude out past. I'm lying, I didn't do that on purpose. I just fluked that and that's just the way it, that, that ended up that way because I did it all on my, son, on my own. I mocked it all up and everything on my own and the angles are weird and it just wasn't that easy for me to do on my own. So, but, um, it could have been a lot better if I'd got someone asked someone to help me, but because I was in Barry's workshop and I don't like to interrupt them when they're doing all their work, they're, they're getting paid to do what they're doing. So I just did it myself, and I'm not, you know, to be honest, I'm not that fussy anyway. And like I said, you can see it doesn't it protrude out past the, the, the vertical edge, and that's where I want to put some rod holders. on that face there. So that'll stop that. I don't know if it would have interfered anyway, if it, had, it would have protruded out that far or not anyway, but um, that'll stop any rods from banging against that leg there. So I fluked it, but super stoked with the way that turned out. And it all, purely all that bar is for, is this, because my boat cover is very tight when I'm driving and the wind's hitting that cover without that it's going to push on that screen and it's probably going to end up breaking it and the other reason like I said before was if I'm walking around on this deck and I have a bit of a trip or something that's going to be one of the first things that I'm going to go to grab and it's going to break so that's what that's for come up pretty good I, what I did ask to have these heads powder coated black as well so I thought it would look better but the powder coater came back and he said look chances are as soon as you put a screwdriver on it it's gonna break off and just pop it straight off so they didn't do it and like I said I'm not that fussy anyway so um, pretty happy with that anyway so I'll go on with doing back to doing that um, sorting that water out and then I'll come back this
bit a bit of a snag here. Again, there's still water down in there. It goes down in past here. This edge goes down there. I've drilled a hole down through there. And there's foam in there. That's a cavity that's full of foam. And I've sort of poked around and then I've filled up under here. And it's blocked off. So I've drilled a hole in through that way. And uh, the water's not coming out, and I think the foam is stopping it from getting to that little hole that I've drilled. So it's kind of put an end to this. I can't drill. I can't drill in that way. If I pop through, I'm just going to pop a hole straight into my fuel tank. And the project's just getting a little bit too big to be taking the tank out it's just starting to drizzle so I wanted the whole idea was to dry the boat out today and pack put the cover on it so either I'll come back to this later on or I'll have to try and get that water out and hopefully keep the cover on it so it doesn't get wet so a little bit disappointed with that outcome but um, what are you gonna do like I said it's gonna start raining again and I want to get this cover on Yep. Right, I'll get that done and I'll see if, if it doesn't start raining properly I'll do that run down of the boat and then that'll be it. <music>